I, I love not to wear makeup. I would love never to wear makeup on the weekends, but I also know how I feel if somebody recognizes me and how embarrassed I feel that I haven't actually put my best foot forth. Really, this is not a nine to five job. This is a 365 day a year job. I'm an ambassador for the station, even on my days off and even when I'm not there. Everyone is always judging the whole, every, everything that all of my colleagues are doing based on, you know, how I carry myself in public. And so I'm always aware of that. And so therefore, I try to present myself accordingly. You can still be hip and still, um, you know, sometimes be sexy and still, still you know, have fun with, with your outfits and stuff. You don't have to be a frumpy old housewife that's stuck in jeans all the time, even though that's probably the easiest thing to do. Uh, I want my kids to, I hope, look at me at some stage and go, my mom always had style. No, I think that there are different moods. That's the wonderful thing about clothes and stuff. There are different, different things to wear for different moods. I mean, when I'm going out with my girlfriends um, for a night of, of just, you know, having dinner and, and appetizers and some wine and stuff, I look forward to it because I'm like, oh, hey, I can wear that thing I never get to wear, you know? And then on Saturdays, I'm like, hey, I get to wear the jeans I never get to wear. <laughs> and then, you know, other times there are, you know, I look forward to if I've bought something I can't wait to wear uh, to work, then I look forward to that. So, no, I think, you know, it would be so boring if I just had like a, a, a subset of like five different outfits that I have to make work all week. But there are, none of us is one dimensional. And I love the fact that clothing isn't one dimensional either. That we can